Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick on to the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 68. Now 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 68. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, right? And a to the power of m times n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So to put this all together, a to the power of m to the power of n is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. This is equal to 68. Now I'm going to let the variable y equal 2 to the power of x. So now if I replace 2 to the power of x, or sorry, if I replace y with 2 to the power of x, I get y plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 68. Now if I subtract 68 on both sides, I get y plus y to the power of 3 minus 68 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rechange the order in form of highest degree to the lowest degree. So this would be y to the power of 3 first plus y next minus 68 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite y as 16 minus, 17 minus 16. Now I have this minus 68 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor by grouping. So first from y to the power of 3 minus 17y, I'm going to factor out y because that is the greatest common factor. So now I have y times y to the power of 3 divided by y is y squared, plus 17y divided by y is 17. Or sorry, I made a mistake. Before doing that, I'm going to first rearrange the order. So now I'll have y to the power of 3 minus 16y, plus 17y minus 68 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to factor by grouping. So from y to the power of 3 minus 16y, I'm going to factor out y y to the power of 3 divided by y is y squared, minus 16y divided by y is 16. Then I have plus 17y minus 68, I'm going to factor out 17. 17y divided by 17 is y, and 68 divided by 17 is 4. So now this is equal to 0. So now, 16 here, this is the same thing as 4 squared. So now I have y times y squared minus 4 squared plus 17 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b times a minus b. So y squared minus 4 squared, that's going to equal y plus 4 times y minus 4. Now I can factor out y minus 4 from this. And I get y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 17. This is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 4 is equal to 0. And I have y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. Now for y minus 4 equals 0, I can simply add 4 on both sides. And I get y is equal to 4. For y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 17. So now I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 
4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 17. And I have this all over 2 times 1. Now I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 17 is 68 over 2 times 1 is 2. Now 16 minus 68, that is going to be negative 52, which is a negative number. And you can't take the square root of negative number, so this is false, meaning our only solution of y is 4. So if y is equal to 4, and remember how we said y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. And 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 squared. And this means that x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 is our solution. All right, so I have 4 to the power of 1 minus x plus 4 to the power of 1 plus x is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So for 4 to the power of 1 minus x, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1 plus negative x. And this means that this is equal to 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of negative x. So I have 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of negative x plus 4 to the power of 1 plus x. That's going to equal 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 10. Now, 4 to the power of negative x, this is the same thing as 1 over 4 to the power of x. And this is, if I multiply these two, I get 4 over 4 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to let 4 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now, if I replace 4 to the power of x with y, I get 4 over y plus 4y is equal to 10. Now, if I multiply both sides by y, these two cancel out, so I'll be left with 4 plus 4 times 4. 4y times y is 4y squared is equal to 10 times y is 10y. Now, I can go ahead and subtract 10y on both sides. So I get 4 plus 4y squared minus 10y is equal to 0. Now, if I rearrange the order here, I get 4y squared minus 10y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I can divide both sides by 2. So 4y squared divided by 2 is 2y squared, minus 10y divided by 2 is 5y, plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. This is equal to 0. Now, I have to find two numbers with the product of 2 times 2, which is 4, and with a sum of negative 5. So these two numbers could be negative 4 and negative 1, because negative 4 times negative 1 is 4, and negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. So negative 4 and negative 1. So now I have 2y squared minus 4y minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now I can factor by grouping. So what is the greatest common factor of 2y squared and negative 4y? That's going to be 2y. So if I factor out 2y, I get 2y times 2y squared divided by 2y is y minus negative 4y divided by 2y is 2. And now from negative y plus 2, I can simply factor out negative 1. So I have negative 1 times y minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times 2y minus 1 It is, is equal to 0. So now, this gives me two equations. I have y minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. For y minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides, so I get y is equal to 2. For 2y minus 1 equals 0, first add 1 on both sides, so I get 2y is equal to 1. Then I can divide 2 on both sides, so I get y is equal to 1 half.
Now, remember how we said 4 to the power of x is equal to y. So now let's first start by saying that y equals 2. If y equals 2, then I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now, 4 to the power of x, well, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2. And this means that 2 to the power of 2x is equal to, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. Now this means that 2x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 1 half. So this is one solution of x. Now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 half. 1 half is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 1, and 4 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x. So now I have 2x is equal to negative 1. I can divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to negative 1 half. So my two solutions are 1 half and negative 1 half. Thank you.